Okay, I don't really know. I said under the SoFi Stadium, so maybe it's right here. Los Angeles, California. Welcome to the Eras Tour. I think instead of just like telling you about it, I think I'll just sort of show you. Hello, it is Monday night. I am making the Junior Jewels t-shirt for closing night. I think all three of us are going to make one, um, but right now we are only in possession of one shirt. <laughs> we will figure it out. But I started with the end because it's in the middle so I can do the spacing correctly. I'll show you the finished product when I'm done. I've got this picture, this picture to go off of, this picture. Surprise song o'clock, everybody. Hey, now we got problems. Think we can solve them. Bad blood. Hey. Here we go. What time is it right now? 11. Yeah. What's she gonna play? Oh, the capo. The capo's on the guitar at capo 2. I named it the Arrows Tour. No! Come on. Okay, okay. I normally don't play live. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Dress. Oh, oh. Dress? <laughs> I'm not also oh, Interesting. I, I mean, I just shouldn't touch that, but I'm okay that I'm not a present to this. <laughs> wow. Silence and patience, man. I've I have not learned this on guitar. Ha ha! Oh, silence and patience. So you can take it, take it, ha ha ha. Interesting. She's never played this acoustic. Met me and I said my head bleeds. Even in my worst times, you saw the truth in me. What is she gonna play on piano? I don't want you like a best friend. Wow. I'm worried. What is she going to play now? It better not be off the Oh my god. Good morning and welcome to the Eras Tour LA part two. Um, as you can tell, my voice is just going. It is gonna be gone by tomorrow. I have a lot to do and it's already like 10.15 and I'm leaving here at one. So today I am going to the concert with my little cousin and we have standing room tickets, which we got last minute last week. And so I wanna make sure that we get there early enough so that we get a good spot in the little standing area. So yes, and I still don't know what I'm wearing. I am definitely wearing one of the purple outfits. I just don't know what the vibe is. I am almost done with my Junior Jewels shirt that I started doing last night. So I'm probably gonna finish that tomorrow morning. But right now I have to do my hair, paint my nails. I literally have had no painted nails. They look so crusty and make a few more bracelets. I have some left over from the weekend, but I wanted to make a few more and so yeah. Also, sometimes I get questions about what hair tools I use and I pretty much use all of Heritage hair tools from Mindy McKnight on YouTube. Um, she's, these sell in Walmart and they're super cheap, but they're really nice. This is the best waiver I have ever used in my life. It just gives you like the perfect wavy hair and it gives my hair a lot of volume, which it doesn't really have since it's so like fine. But anyways, Heritage by Mindy. Mindy, my favorite. Oh. 
know. That is so much, so much glitter. It's okay. 13 is gonna be ingrained onto my hand after this week. Ooh. Hair makeup is done. Very nice little purpley vibe. I'm gonna paint my nails in the next 30 minutes. I did a sparkly 13. I just need to change into my outfit and I'm pretty much good to go. Okay, here's the fit check. You've seen this before if you've seen my channel. We've got the fluffy pink dress, or the purple dress. And then we've got sparkly boots. I just decided this was gonna be the most comfortable thing. I've got Speak Now necklace. Also, my little cousin is wearing Speak Now, so I wanted to match with her. We are all ready for round three. Hello vlog. I'm in the car now, driving to go pick up my cousin. I painted my nails about 10 minutes ago, so they're still wet, and I've messed up the same nail three times. I don't know why today is like extra chaotic, because it's literally like it was just me getting ready today, but I just felt like so stressed. I think it's because we have standing room and I'm really worried we're not gonna get a good spot but I'm sure we will because we're going so early and I want to just want to make sure my cousin has the best time ever and maybe we'll be able to get some merch if we're there early enough I have gone this entire tour without standing in line for merch I literally have not bought merch the entire time at the concert so maybe we will do that today, but we're just gonna have to play by ear. I'm playing Speak Now Taylor's version because that is very much the vibe today. And I'm just really excited to see what songs she plays tonight. It is the penultimate show, second to last. I hope she has something really fun planned for tonight. So yeah. Was your Ooh, phone really out here? <laughs> Tell the people where your clothes are from. <laughs> That's a good question. Fit check. Amazon, 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 Amazon. Woo! Give us a spin. <laughs> Here we are. It is, what time is it? Three, two, three, it's three. Woohoo! One hour later. Still in line. It's gonna let us in in like 20 minutes and we're gonna run fast as we can to the, the standing section. Pray for us. Chaos ensues. Okay, I don't really know. I said under the SoFi Stadium, so maybe it's right here. <laughs> okay. Do we want to be here? Yeah. This is perfect. We made it.
don't respond collectively. We have been waiting our entire life to play five shows. So
Good morning. It is day four. Woo! I got we got home at like 1:45 last night. I went to sleep at like 2:30. We're up. We're ready to do it again. Back in my favorite place. Oh, got the pimple patches on my face. Hoblob. Okay, so here's the deal. Um, it is 1:30, 1 1:20. My makeup is done. I'm not really gonna do my hair. We're just going basic today. My Junior Jewels shirt is done. Me and Maddie ran to Hobby Lobby and got two more T-shirts. 
And she's currently <laughs> making them <laughs> for, for her and Andrina. Love to see it. I still need to like write stuff online. I think I'm gonna wear the Shake It Off cheerleader skirt with mine. I still have to make bracelets. I wanna make like at least like five to 10 just in case like I meet subscribers and I wanna give them a bracelet. Okay, something literally crazy happened this morning. Someone that I know from college works for an LA news station and she texted me this this morning and was like hey do you want to be interviewed on ktla about taylor swift tomorrow morning and i was like what and she's like yeah you'd be like live on the air at 7 45 in the morning tomorrow being interviewed by our entertainment host and i'm like so i i was like oh my god i'm gonna be so tired we're gonna come back from the concert probably go to sleep at like 2 and then get up at 5 a.m and drive to la again to be on the news but we all decided like, I have to do it on the news and talk about Taylor Swift. Like, anyways, I think I'm gonna be on the LA morning news tomorrow, which is literally crazy. I have no idea what I'm gonna wear, but yeah, anyways, I'm gonna put a 13 on my hand and put sparkles on my face right now. Oh, glitter and whatnot. Just gotta retrace it from the last literally week this has been on my hand. It's kinda nice, I don't have to like, draw a whole new 13 i just gotta retrace it every day there's gonna be a 13 ingrained into my hand after this week here we go also i'm like out of storage on my new camera and i don't have time to buy a new sd card so we're just gonna try our best with my phone and otterina's phone for this last show last night all i had was my phone and my um my camera and my camera was like running way low so i was trying to conserve storage on there i mean you guys have seen so many of my eras vlogs they're basically the same every time except last night she had a bunch of new outfits which was really exciting and tonight is gonna be a huge night because it's the last night of the eras tour u.s leg for this year and everybody thinks she's gonna announce 1989 and i definitely think she has to do something exciting and also new romantics is the last song from 1989 that she hasn't played yet so I think if she does announce it she will play New Romantics and that will be insane this is literally an art form okay rhinestones glitter 13 and now I have to finish my shirt Junior Jolts on shirt three of three. Yay. Ooh. Okay. Are we all ready to go? Ready. Yes. In the just in the nick of time. <laughs> Got the whole outfit. Woo! Last chance. Last show. Woo! Full send. Woo! Last night. back at our home, second home, happy place, the Ares tour, for one final hurrah. Last rodeo. Expect me to fully sob. Uh, <laughs> long live, I'm really struggling holding it together. Maddie did not hold it together at long live. No, I am glad I'll be staying next to you. So we waited in the merch line. It was only like 20 minutes, but they were like out of every size. And so I got the gray border zip in a large and the cream sweatshirt for an XL. I wanted the shirt. I thought I was getting the shirt, but then she put... <laughs> She, she put the sweatshirt on there. I'm like, okay, fine. That's it is what it is. So wait, you got the clean. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness, best kiss. I was so sad when I um you guys I we ordered, we got our chicken strips and they gave me free, two free hot dogs. I think I got somebody else's, but two hot dogs. I'm so happy. <laughs> Literally, 
is the best way to end the tour. This is like the perfect view. Catch me crying. What? it is to say these words to you. Los Angeles, California, welcome to the Eras Tour! I'm not sure if you know this, but if you didn't know this, you have decided to attend this tour on not only the last night of our sixth show run at SoFi Stadium, you have also decided to attend this concert on the very last show of the American leg of the Eras Tour. Because of this decision you have made to attend this concert, you're gonna have to deal with my emotions. And I don't know if you've heard about this or not, but I have a lot of them. So, here's why. This has been the most extraordinary, fun, wonderful, magical experience of my entire life being on this tour with these people on this stage. We're about to go on a little adventure together and that adventure is going to span 17 years of music and we're going to do this one era at a time, LA. Here at SoFi Stadium together. I'll be your host this evening. My name is Taylor. Thank you for traveling with us at the Eras Tour.
I feel really um, grateful to you guys for letting me experiment with different types of music. It's just encourage that. And that's the only reason I'm able to experiment and play like I got to do with folklore. And it really, really came at a time when I needed it so much. I started writing folklore. Um, Why are you not playing? Can you hear that? Yeah, you can? Well, that's all that matters. So, um... <laughs>
Welcome to the acoustic set. Uh, so I um I just want to talk to you guys for a second about the fact that this this tour um, and what you have done. You know this <laughs> this tour. I hear so many people talking about how they wanted to come to these shows just because of you guys and like and the joy and the friendship and the, the open-heartedness with which you guys have have uh, approached this tour like you're making friendship bracelets and trading them with each other you're dancing with each other you're making friends with the people next to you it's I, I see so many of you like facetiming people who are your friends and like singing with them it's just it's really it's really beautiful and like the nicest thing in the world is how you guys have approached this tour with so much excitement and you've gotten so into it and you dress up and you and the, the fact that you care this much is what has made this tour so special for me and everyone that you see on stage so thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you i figured it would be fun but i did not know it would be like this i just didn't and the, the thing is that you guys have made it so much fun and the last time that I was so pleasantly surprised by some stuff that you guys did was when I announced that I was going to be recording my first something that I expected to be just a me thing, just a personal thing. I, since I was a teenager, I wanted to own my music. And the way to do it was to re-record my albums in Carlton Taylor's version. And the way that you've embraced that, the way that you have celebrated that, you really um, decided that it was your fight too, and, and that you were 100% behind me, and if I cared about it, you cared about it, I will never stop thanking you for that. It was so generous of you to care about something that I cared about. And so now here we are on the last night of the US Leg of the Eras Tour, in the eighth month of the year. On the ninth day of the eighth month. You might have noticed there are some new outfits in the show. There's some new things here and there. And um, there's something that I've been planning for a really, really, really ridiculous thing. I think instead of just like telling you about it, I think I'll just sort of show you something I've been excited to show you. Um,
can she do now? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> what is she gonna do right now? I, I'll die. Either way. Guys, it has been a crazy day. Crazy. Oh my god. 
But the good news is we got out of the parking lot before midnight and we got home at 12.40, which is a record. We were going to sleep for about three and a half hours and then we're waking up to drive back to Hollywood, to LA, to be on the news. <laughs> I literally can't. I cannot believe tonight happened. I thought we were gonna have a huge clown moment, but the fact that we were right, I'm gonna have a lot to say about this, but I'm gonna have to talk about it another time because I'm, I'm first of all, absolutely exhausted and I just need to process everything. So we will, we will definitely discuss this further, but right now I am going to bed. I, tomorrow morning, I'm dressing up as in my cheerleader outfit because they wanted me to wear my Eras Tour outfit and bring all the merch that I got and whatnot. So I'm gonna wear all my bracelets. I'm just gonna be full-fledged Swifty. So I'm so excited. It's gonna be really fun. Also terrifying, um, mostly terrifying, but I think it'll be a fun experience. So anyways, I'll see you guys at 5 a.m. <laughs> Go. And now we're getting ready. <laughs> Where do we go? Oh, out and around. Okay. <laughs> She was at uh, four shows of the six, uh, and she's here to tell us all about it. Uh, it's me, Shelby. Nice to see you. Hello. Congratulations to you. How much do you love her? Is it indescribable? Uh, yeah, I I can't talk about her else I'll start crying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And have you always felt this way about her? Yes. The first song I learned on my guitar was Love Story in 2008 when I was like 10 years old. And ever since then, it's just been like such a constant in my life. And it's just gotten more crazy as the years go. Okay, what is it about Taylor for you? She's just like such an inspiring person to me. And she is such a great role model and like everything that she stands for. She's a genius when it comes to music, songwriting, all of her songs. The, the ability to go from all these different genres and appeal to so many different people and withstand the test of time is truly just like, gives me chills. Right. Pass the Kleenex okay. as we yeah. uh, talk about. You were there when she made this announcement last night, which was a special <laughs> Watch this. I think instead of just like Taylor's 
version of 1989, which is your That's favorite song. That's the newest clip. Morgan, your favorite song. <laughs> My favorite song is from 1989 called You Are In Love. And when I was on the floor seats on Friday, she played it as a surprise song. And I literally just started bawling my eyes out. I posted it on TikTok. <laughs> I just like could not control my emotions. Oh, and speaking of not being able to control, you're the merch queen. <laughs> what? And this is the fu this is the fabled blue crew neck yes. that we can get? Uh-huh. So how do you get it? You wait in line for a really long time. You also ask any friends that are going to any other shows if they're already in line. You get that one. I'll get this mm -hmm. one. It's like a whole network. Yeah. <laughs> so that, all right. This I didn't, I've never seen the cardigan before, which I think is very that's wow. very highly coveted. Right. <laughs> now, I bought that before I even heard folklore. Like right when she dropped it, because I just knew. <laughs> is, is there an inexhaustible appetite for Taylor stuff? No, like I can't stop buying the merch. I, like literally last night, this is what I came home with. Yeah, and this is a like portion that I have at home. How much does the crew neck, blue crew neck cost? This is sixty-five dollars. Yeah. I'm surprised. No, it's worth its weight in gold. Oh, it's so. It's like a very good quality. Very good quality merch she has. It lasts forever. You're in the Taylor cheerleader outfit for the yes. videos. Do you wear Taylor clothes on a daily basis? <laughs> yeah, most of my wardrobe is just merch, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you have this very successful YouTube channel, is that a surprise to you? Kind of. Well, not really, actually. Like, I feel like I was going to make this work some way or another because I just, Taylor Swift takes up so much of my life and it's so important to me. <laughs> but you've never, you've never met her. No. What would happen if you met Taylor Swift? I, I would just like fall to the floor and start crying. Really? Taylor obviously spent the night in Los Angeles because mm -hmm. she did the show. So you're looking at that camera right there <laughs> and oh. you have to speak to Taylor directly because she could be watching. Yeah, what would you like to say to her? I just want to thank you for being the best, the best thing that has come into my life. <laughs> <laughs> We had a Taylor Swift super fan. Look at what she left us. Not the fabled blue crew neck, but rather something even more valuable. Friendship bracelets. Mm, you got one, Sam. One's at 1989. Finally. And the other yeah. one's at KTLA Heart TL. Uh -huh. Go back. You, that's art. Why would you go that's so quick? That's art. You need to, people <laughs> need to revel in it. Thanks. Yes. Uh, KTLA TS. That's lovely. That is nice. Well, last night, the end of an incredible six-night stand at SoFi Stadium, and Ryan McCall Taylor was initially scheduled to open SoFi. Hello, and welcome to the Eras Tour debrief. It is currently Saturday, August 12th. I'm enjoying a glass of Chardonnay with a few ice cubes in it to chill it down. Taylor would be proud. I also have my Evermore coaster. Link down below. Okay, so I've been in a coma hibernating for the past two days <laughs> because last week was one of the longest weeks of my life. Literally from Thursday to Thursday, I was going and I got so little sleep that on <laughs> the, this past Thursday, I passed out for three straight hours in the middle of the day. Um, also, I still have my 13 from closing night because first of all, it has stayed on I've taken a shower, I've gone in the pool, I have washed my hands so many times and this will stay on. I put eyelash glue and hairspray on it and so literally hasn't gone anywhere. And also I can't, I just can't bring myself to scrub it off. I, I'm sentimentally attached to it. So maybe I'll take it off tonight or tomorrow, I don't know. Oh, my french fries are ready. As I was saying, I felt like last week I was just like constantly going and I just, I haven't sat down and talked about it at all. Debriefed the events of last week because it was literally insane. Night one, okay, so on Thursday night when the first show happened, I didn't have tickets to that night and I went and picked up my friend from the airport and we watched it on the live stream and I was so nervous that she was gonna play something that was one of my favorite songs and I was gonna miss 
it. I was so, I had such bad FOMO the first night. I was like so scared that she was gonna announce 1989 and I was gonna miss it by a day. Play one of my favorite songs. So I just like <laughs> watching the stream was so funny. I was so stressed. But she didn't announce 1989 on the first night. So then I felt okay because I was gonna be going to the next two shows. So on Friday, it was just me and Otterina and we had front row floor seats. It was insane. I got crazy close videos. She played quite literally two of my favorite songs. Um, if you didn't see, I literally just like bawled my eyes out the whole time. And I was just like so... Also, I met a few subscribers on the first night and it was so fun. Shout out to everybody that came up to me, took a picture, traded bracelets. It was so fun. This girl literally had her cousin on FaceTime that watches my videos. It was. It's just like always so cool to meet you guys in real life because obviously I always say this, it's, I'm just talking to a camera. So like to actually see the people that watch my videos and care about them. It's just so like, I'm just so thankful. So anyways, I'm gonna do a full bracelet tour video and everything so I can show you guys all the bracelets that I traded and that I received from people because some subscribers gave me some really cool bracelets and I am going to figure out a way to display them. But that'll be in that video. She played You Are In Love. I bawled my eyes out. It took us forever to get home that night. We were exhausted and then we woke up and basically did it all over again with all of our friends. And that, honestly, Saturday night was one of my favorite nights at the Eras Tour because I had all my best friends with me, my sister, my cousin. We all dressed up. We made this really fun TikTok that went, ended up going viral and it was just like the most wholesome thing ever. We were like way up in the nosebleeds and then and when karma was happening, we decided to walk down to the standing area and we were just dancing and having literally the best time ever. And then I had two days in between shows and so Sunday we just kind of reset. Monday I tried to make more bracelets and make my sh shirt for Wednesday. I don't know. I was just like so burnt out. On Saturday I also got to meet a few subscribers. I knew that there was going to be quite a few people at the LA show so it was just like so great again to meet everybody. This girl came up to me. I think her name was Sammy. Um, told me that I helped her play guitar and that she's a musician now so shout out to her. A lot of these people ended up DMing me and asking me where I was so that we could meet up, trade bracelets. Um, I had this one little girl like just run up and hug me, like the most pure thing ever. And so she had the cutest outfit on, the green sparkly rep jacket. We took the cutest little picture, traded bracelets, so sweet. My sister wore her judge outfit, which was justice for me on the back. And I think it was, it was super niche, but so many people would like yell across the way like justice for me. And that was so funny because <laughs> everybody was kind of confused why she was dressed that way until they saw the back of her outfit. And then it was like, oh my gosh, that is literally so funny. And then I had a couple days in between shows. So I tried to make more bracelets, but I was just really getting burnt out of making bracelets. Make my Junior Jewels shirt for the last show. On Tuesday, I went with my little cousin to the show and we had those standing room tickets and we got there right in line so that we could get the best place to stand at. And we ended up having a really good view. A lot of people actually came and found me and said hi. This one girl was wearing this cute like green blue dress it was like all fluffy and she was so cute we took a picture traded bracelets she like made me bracelets specifically for me um and they were like so cute and well done you can tell she put a lot of effort into them there was one girl from canada that came and found me and it truly just like makes my entire night when i can see you guys and say hi and just like bond over taylor swift i'm brainstorming the best way that we can trade bracelets through mail because obviously i am not able to meet every single one of you but i really want to like connect with you guys and so i'm trying to figure out the best way to trade bracelets and get a p.o box and all that kind of stuff so stay tuned for that and on Tuesday she played I Know Places on guitar and King of My Heart on piano and I just was not expecting that and it made me so so happy because King of My Heart is literally one of my favorite songs for my reputation on my list of songs that I would die to hear as a surprise song so that one was so solid. My little cousin had a great time and my feet hurt so bad I took off my shoes halfway through the show but you know worth 
And then we had our very last night on Wednesday and it was so emotional. The three of us had our Junior Jewels shirts that we made literally like day of. And um, we ended up having really good seats and it was just like the perfect show ever. One of my favorites out of all the times that I went, super sentimental, just like, you know, the last show of the entire US leg this year with my besties that I went to opening night with. So from opening to closing. And when I tell you, when Taylor walked out in the blue enchanted dress, I literally screamed if you cannot tell in the video. Um, we were just having a time because I totally thought we were clowning with Taylor announcing 1989, but when that happened, we were like, oh my God, oh my God. This is literally happening. And then when she came out in the blue folklore dress, I just kept screaming like, it's blue, it's blue. And like, you know, like, of course there's like diehard Swifties at the show, but there's also a lot of like casual fans. And so they were like so confused when everybody started screaming about her outfit, nobody realized what was happening. Like, it is so interesting. I'm like, imagine not freaking out over a color. I, I can't imagine because we are crazy. And of course she does, just doesn't address it. And then when she gets to 1989, she's in the blue sparkly outfit, which what is what we thought would happen. And then that's when I decided to go live on my Instagram because I just knew, I just knew she was gonna announce 1989. And she did, we screamed, she played New Romantics. It was just like a fever dream. And it was just like the best moment ever. And I'm so, so happy we ended up going to that show because if I wasn't there, I would have had such bad FOMO, literally cried. And then she played New Year's Day. I, I was literally like, what could she possibly do to follow this up? And she just like smacked me in the face with New Year's Day. And I had me like literally sobbing, sobbing. Um, but yeah, like I, I was running off like quite literally no sleep, like three hours. And then I got a text from one of our college friends that I hadn't talked to in forever and she's an uh, entertainment producer for KTLA and she was like hey we've been covering a ton of Taylor Swift content would you be willing to come in and do an interview on the air at 7 45 a.m the day after the concert and I knew that we were gonna be so tired but I feel like we just had to do it and so I said yes and so we went to sleep at like 2 a.m woke up at 4 45 a.m I got my entire cheerleader outfit on did my hair makeup everything, drove to LA for the fifth time that week, went on the show and it was like so fun. I'm really glad that we did it because it was just like such an experience, such a great opportunity. It's like, I, I felt like I was so tired and delirious and like coming off of this era's tour high that I wasn't even nervous to like be on literally like the news, like the biggest news station in LA. Um, and it was really fun. And then drove home and just passed out for like three hours, took Adriana to the airport and then just went to sleep. And then yeah, now we're here. And I can say that this was like one of the best weeks, like the highlight of my year. I'm really sad that it's over, but I also am relieved that we can finally sleep and relax until the next, you know, leg of the tour in which I will be following it every night on live stream, figuring out how I can get to the concerts next year. I did not get a pre-sale code or anything. I signed up and just, I think there was just like way too many people. I think this time it went way smoother for the pre-sale, but if you guys want me to do a video about how I'm planning to get tickets to next year without even having a pre-sale code, I, it's so weird. I feel like I'm delusional. I'm very Delulu about this. Like I will be at one of the shows next year, even though I don't have tickets currently. And there's also no resale market, but in my soul, I feel like I will be at the shows next year, um, whether it be Europe or whatever. I I just, I feel like I can't, this can't be the end. This can't be the end. Anyways, um, thank you guys so much for watching my vlogs. This year has been so fun and I just feel like really grateful that you guys care about the videos that I'm making about the Eras tour. Truly the best tour of all time. If you don't have tickets yet, don't give up. Truly, like, I only had tickets to two concerts at the beginning and I ended up going to nine. Those were the best nine days of my year. So don't give up, you can still get the tickets. But yeah, anyways, that is gonna be the end of this vlog. Thank you guys so much for being here. I love you, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.